Hi again, YouTube. Zero Hedge, editors of world's most prestigious medical journals. Much of the scientific literature, perhaps half, may simply be untrue. Lancet and the New England Journal of Medicine are the two most prestigious medical journals in the world. Skipping this down here, the editor-in-chief of Lancet, Richard Horton, wrote this month. We're going to go to another site now. Same thing. That's what this guy wrote. Dr. Horton, the case against science is straightforward. Much of the scientific literature, perhaps half, may simply be untrue. Afflicted by studies with small sample sizes, tiny effects, and valid exploratory analysis, and flagrant conflicts of interest, together with an obsession of pursuing fashionable trends of dubious importance, science has taken a turn towards darkness. Editor-in-chief of world's best no medical journal, half of all the literature is false. And, you know, this is one of those things that you can really put your hands on, too, because you don't, everything is, one, one minute they're telling, here's a perfect example. You know, I'm growing up, I'm 30, I'll be 34 in July, and uh, <clears throat> next month, my whole life I've been told, oh, take vitamins, they're good for you. And then what was it, just like a few years ago, they came out and said vitamins didn't do anything, in fact, I think they're counterproductive. Um... The milk is a funny one. Lewis Black, there's a comedian, he sucks, but he, he I remember a thing in his stand-up where he said, he's, and he's like probably 60 now or 50s, he's an older guy now, and he said in one of his acts a while ago, a few years ago, one of his stand-up shows, where growing up, you're told milk is good for you, now you can't, you're not supposed to drink it, now do you, and he even asked the audience, is milk good for you, and no one really responds, he goes, yep, you see, you don't even know anymore, now we all know milk is gross and it's not good for you, period, but the fact of the matter is, just giving you examples of how things change. You know, the medical industry is one big lie, just like the government, corporation, everything is. It's one big scam. All that thing is designed to do is to make money off your sickness, make you sick to make more money, and to spend an ungodly amount of money in a fast, fast period of time so they can use that to collapse, collapse the economy and break the, the financial system. It's just one big scam. And so here you go from several different sources, right out of the freaking horse's mouth, for lack of a better phrase, that it's crap. At least, at, the, at least in these days, we're getting a little bit of truth out there. You know what I mean? At least, at least there's more and more examples of how this we just been lied to from the start. These guys, these doctors, these big physicians, these big pharmaceutical medical companies don't don't care about you. They don't care about your health. All they want is money. That's all it is. Just like everything else. So links will be below. Check it out. Interesting stuff. Thank you to my subscribers.